Dear Travel Journal, I'm going interrailing! After years of dreaming about going on a little adventure like this on my own, I am finally doing it. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared at all, but I'm mostly really excited. The first city I'm traveling to is Berlin in Germany. The train ride itself is already really cool. Seeing the scenery change from familiar into slightly less familiar, and seeing landscapes you would have just skipped over if you took a plane, it's just incredible. The train even had a blue toilet! Bonus points! <laughs> Anyways, here we are. I'm in Berlin! I made it to the hostel, but the room is pretty full. When I came in, only one girl was there, but 10 minutes later, everyone else that has a bed in the room, like 8 or 10 people, they all came in, so I was like, hmm. Not really good time to film. The train ride is good and I'm going to look for some food now because I haven't eaten yet. But it is pretty dark outside so I'm gonna stay in the neighborhood and we'll explore Berlin tomorrow. I just went to the supermarket to get some snacks to make sure I don't go to bed really hungry. Pretend this trip starts tomorrow because we're not really doing anything really interesting today. I got myself some yogurt and pretzels and yes, I mainly got the pretzels because the packaging was cute. I'm a sucker for good packaging. So this is me awkwardly eating in the hostel lobby. Yay! <laughs> the beds in this hostel had awesome storage, for which I am also a sucker. And now it is time to sleep and gain some energy for a full day of exploring tomorrow. So I woke up way before my alarm. I guess my body sort of knows that I don't want to wake anybody else up. So it makes sure I am awake before my alarm or something. So here I am debating whether to put makeup on. I guess we're not doing that today. After very quietly showering and getting ready in a very full and sweaty hostel room, I step out into the fresh air and see the streets of Berlin in daylight for the very first time. The air is quite chilly, but the sun is shining. According to my weather app, I have about three hours before clouds start filling up the air and hiding the sun. So let's make the best of it. After wasting way too much time trying to figure out the public transport in Berlin, I finally got around to seeing some sights. My first stop was Brandenburger Tor, which is the only remaining gate to the center of the city. I remembered I hadn't eaten yet, so it was time for some breakfast. <laughs> I just got myself some breakfast. Some gluten. I brought my own peanut butter just so I can have very cheap breakfasts and lunches. It is Saturday morning and it's really quiet throughout the entire city. I haven't really seen many people apart from the occasional runner. Oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. I found myself a really nice spot in the sun, so that's nice. Something else I got was just to torture myself. It's a ginger shot. But my body's gonna go through a lot these next couple of weeks, so let's just try to balance it out a little bit. All right, wish me luck with the ginger. Oh, hell. Oh, hell, no, no. Still not good. <laughs> with my stomach filled, I was ready to head to the next sites. The Holocaust Memorial was up next. The creator of the monument has left us with the words, it happened, therefore it can happen again. Let's just hope it doesn't. I stumbled upon a little remainder of the Berlin Wall and hopped on a subway to Alexanderplatz, where I could see the Fernsehtor and the Rotes Rathaus, which is sort of Berlin's city hall. All right, so I'm in front of the Berlin Cathedral right now, and I feel like I do wish that I made a more strict itinerary just to know where I'm going because I have no idea where I'm going and I'm just figuring it out as I go and I know some people really like that but for me it's a little bit overwhelming so tomorrow and the days after that I think I'm gonna be making a little bit more of a stricter itinerary not just a loose thing of I may want to see this or that because I only have so much time and I know I can't see everything but I do want to see a lot and well this is beautiful but staat in de steigers I see that across from here there's a Berlin art market so Let's head over there. We've arrived at Oberbaumbrücke. I do not know how to pronounce things in German, but I have 
A little cheesy snack. As you can see, the clouds are starting to come. Doggy. There are so many dogs here as well. I'm going to East Side Gallery to see the Berlin Wall for one and a half kilometers. And then maybe either go back to the hostel for a little bit or go do an indoor activity. Because without the sun, it's pretty cold. It's almost freezing. <laughs> Alrighty, I just finished walking down Eastside Gallery. It was really impressive, beautiful to see. And I am headed towards some lunch now. I don't know where to go, but I've been Googling and I gotta stop doing that because then I wanna compare everything to everything and that's not good because I'm so indecisive. On my quest for some lunch, I found the famous Baumhaus on the Mauer. Also this good looking building over here, I don't know the name of. <laughs> The market hall I wanted to get some lunch at was so crowded that I decided to just eat the last cheese pretzel that I bought that morning and I headed back to the hostel. I am back in the hostel for a bit. I was getting so tired of walking around. My step count is over 20k steps already and it is 2.30 in the afternoon. So I thought I have an activity for tonight. So that's really nice, but I do need some more energy for that. So I'm gonna take a nap. And the best thing about it is that the entire room is empty so I can sleep in peace without somebody snoring or whatever. One, I'm gonna get my game plan for tonight in order. I wanna visit a thrift shop and eat some schnitzel or kartoffeln or whatever. I gotta find out a good spot and then sit down actually. And then I'm going to a comedy show. So I'm just gonna see what's in the area. Thrift shops open till eight so that's really nice. I think I'm gonna rest for about two hours and then I'm gonna hit the streets again. While grandma's taking a nap, it's time for me to do a little hostel tour. So well, here it is, that's my bed, the bathroom, and hey, that's me. <laughs> a toilet, also handy, and hey, it's me again. Time to hit the thrift shop. Well, I couldn't really fit that much into my bag, so I just bought a little hair scarf thingy. And unfortunately, I couldn't find a schnitzel place in the area, so I ended up eating at Foco, a very nice and cute Vietnamese place. Can I get a table for one, please? It still feels weird, even though I have done it before. It's not that I'm ashamed of eating alone, it's just that it's still not super common, but I love it, and this wonton noodle soup was delicious. 10 out of 10. While the empty seats in the basement bar get filled, I wonder if this is everyone's first time here, or if this is like a second home to them. Who knows, maybe I'll make some new friends here. Or I could be the awkward little antisocial bug that I expect myself to be, and guess what? The second ended up being true. Surprise! Thank you so much for all the applause for coming out! Thank you! Thank you, thank you so much! Filming the comedians wasn't allowed, but I can assure you it was a great night, and I had loads of laughs. It's time to get back to the hostel and get myself into bed. Because look at that exhausted face, I clearly need a beauty rest. A very good morning to you. Today it is day three of Berlin. Actually day two, because the first day doesn't really count. I am leaving around four. And right now I am going to a flea market. Again, it is super quiet on the streets. It's 10 a.m. It's a Sunday. You would think that the city would be bustling and bustling and going to brunch and I don't know. We'll see, maybe all the people went to the flea market. <laughs> My body is so tired from walking all day yesterday, yet I do decide to do the 45 minute walk to the flea market. So I just got myself some vegan curry wurst. So we're gonna try. Mm. That's really nice. I just came from the flea market. It was really nice. It was an awesome flea market, but it's so cold. So I need to find a cafe to get me some tea or maybe a cappuccino or whatever. So I sit down and I promise myself 
I am allowed to spend the money on the metro for the way back instead of walking. Thank you, me. <laughs> Some wise words that have been ringing in my head these past couple of days are comfort is our biggest enemy. Well, the enemy has flown in these past few days. I like to believe this helps me appreciate home all the more. All right, so I just chilled in the hostel for a bit while I'm already checked out, so I chilled in the, in the lobby. I must admit, I'm not feeling too great. <laughs> I'm really tired and I have a massive headache. I think I did way too much yesterday and I'm paying for that today. So I thought I'd run to the market to get something to eat for in the train. But it's closed and I was almost there and then I realized, oh, maybe it's closed. So, how's your day going? So instead of a supermarket, I thought I'd just get some food at the train station. But look at this line. I would never make my train if I... No. Anyways, time to hit the road. Bye, Berlin. Auf Wiedersehen in Prague.